Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I have something exciting to share with you guys. We are going to be taking a look at the brand new Hurricane laser engraver that was just announced from Adam Stack that is now available for pre-order. I've been talking with them directly um, and about getting one of these machines, and I will be getting a machine soon to share with you guys. So uh, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the new features that this machine has that other machines don't have. Um, we're also going to show you where to join a community to get some help. I've created a separate community as well, specifically for this machine that I'm going to help you out with as soon as I get it. Um, and we're going to be also taking questions in that community from you for future videos, as well as answering all your questions that we can in this video uh, for pre-order. That way, if you guys want to get a machine the same time as I do and learn along the way, uh, feel free to use the links down in the description below. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get into all the sweet features that this offers that other laser engravers don't. And you're really going to love the last two here. First up, we're going to talk about power. I was recently asked, how does Adam Stack's new Hurricane laser compare to the X-Tool P2S? And I am happy to announce that they are actually the exact same power. And the new Atom Stack is actually a little bit cheaper in cost with this uh, pre-order campaign. Um, so with that 55 watt power, you will be able to cut 20 millimeter thick acrylic and uh, 18 millimeter thick plywood. So super strong, um, and this is going to be a definite upgrade if you're coming from something like a Glowforge. Speaking of power, we now have to talk about speed, because without speed, the power means nothing. You have to have the right balance between the two. And this one is a pretty fast laser. It runs at 600 millimeters per second, um, and it has a carving precision of 0 0.01 millimeters. So super accurate, super detailed, as you can see in this example here does a great job. Next up, we're going to talk about the large working area and the pass-through slot on this. Um, so it's going to be like an auto conveyor belt that's actually built into the unit, unlike like a Glowforge that just has a slot open, or like the X-Tool, which you have like an actual conveyor belt that gets hooked up underneath, versus this one is kind of like it just rocks back and forth on this beam that's in the center. Um, you do have a 19.6 inch by 11.8 inch working area. So that should be about the perfect size. It's basically the standard boards are 20 by 12 and that should fit in there because the bed size is actually larger than that. But the working size itself, just keep that in mind, is that 19.6 by 11.8. And then whenever you expand it with the actual um, pass-through slot, you can get up to 31.5 inches by 19.6 inches. Here's another great feature that's been introduced with Atom Stack Hurricane as well. This is the visible red light indicator. This allows you to align your mirrors properly a lot easier than without it. Before you used to have to put a piece of paper, do a test, and then keep moving the mirror based on that, and it was kind of a pain. This was actually announced with the P2S from X-Tool as well, but in this case, you're getting it at a cheaper cost with just as an effective result. And as you can see in this image, as it passes by, there is an autofocus, which is a touch probe as well. Um, so that this illustration does a good job at showing off that touch probe. And up above, there's a knob that you can actually manually adjust that touch probe. Next up, we got to talk about the camera. The camera works a little bit different than most laser engravers where it works with the lid closed. This one works with the lid open. Similar to the We Create Vista that I just recently reviewed, this actually allows it to have less distortion because it's taking an entire image of the bed and you don't have as much fish eyeing effect on this. So you're going to get an ac more accurate placement on your material in this version here. We're gonna to quickly touch base on two different engraving features too that I wanted to point out here. There is the 3D engraving feature. You can do this with other lasers, but with this 55 watt, it's gonna turn out and look a lot better. Then on the second feature that I wanna talk about is batch engraving. Most machines can do this nowadays, but I also wanted to mention that on this one, if you do do batch engraving, this machine is compatible and capable of doing that. 
Speaking of the engraving features on this machine, we need to talk about all the materials that this machine can actually cut and engrave on. Um, I'm gonna show you some examples here kind of quickly. We're, uh, this can cut on acrylics of all kinds, wood, leather, coated metal, glass, and slate coasters or rock. And then it can also engrave on many other items and you can do a full list on their site. Here's just a few more examples of everything. We're gonna quickly touch base on two basic features that come with most machines, but I wanted to indicate it and show you guys that it does come with these as well. We have the smoke exhaust system, which will uh, expel any kind of dust or particles from your machine. And I did wanna mention that this machine is fully coated in metal. It's gonna make it a lot easier to clean. Um, so all of your actual electronics parts are hidden. Uh, we also have like status indicator lights on the front of the unit. The entire handle glows and that changes based on what operation it does. I believe it's blue, red, or green depending on what it is doing currently. I also wanted to let you guys know about the software that's included with this is called Atom Stack Studio. That's gonna be the free one that comes with it. And this is also gonna be compatible with Lightburn. So if you're used to Lightburn, you'll be happy to know that this is compatible with that. Now we're gonna be moving on to two of my favorite features about this machine that uh, I don't think any other laser engravers have. And this first one I think is kind of overlooked by a lot of creators that have already talked about this machine and it hasn't gotten the spotlight that I think it deserves. And that is the auto fire extinguisher here. This unit actually uses water to put out fire that's auto detected on the unit versus other lasers use CO2 gas cartridges. Then you have to pay for those new cartridges every time versus just filling this up with water, re-extinguishing a fire if you ever get one. Hopefully you'll never have to use this, but this is an awesome feature that most laser engravers don't have. And I think that it deserves a highlighted spot in this uh, video. Um, or in general with its features here. So let's talk about the last feature that is my absolute favorite feature about this unit that I have never seen any other laser engraver do yet, and that is the power off resume function. So if you have a power outage, um, it will resume right from the middle of your engraving where it powered off at. This feature, I can't tell you how many people ask for this feature in every single laser engraver that I've ever seen. And this is the first one that I have ever seen this happen on. And this is gonna be a game changer for a lot of people who do businesses out of their home. Um, and uh, this is a super exciting feature. This may be related to the fact that Atom Stack started off as a 3D printing company. And this is a feature of 3D printers as well. So I'm happy to announce that they were able to include this in this laser engraver. Now that you guys know all of the features of the Atom Stack Hurricane, there's two specific Facebook groups that I want you to join. And in one of them, I'm gonna show you how you can get every single one of your questions answered specifically on the Hurricane. So the first group that I highly recommend is their official group from Atom Stack themselves. It's the Atom Stack Official Laser Engraving Users Group. The other Facebook group that I want you to join is called Atom Stack Hurricane engraving community. This is one that I just started yesterday. It's a brand new group. You can be one of the first members. I'm going to be inviting experts to this as well. So we're going to have a well knowledge verse of people here that are going to answer your questions. And if you want a question answered, just come to this very first post that I just created with the group, welcoming everybody, asking for your questions. I will be answering every single question up to the point that I can, and I will find experts that can answer these questions for you, and then I will be including them in live videos as soon as that machine comes to me that I can show you in future videos here that I talked about in this video. So that was the first look at the Atom Stack Hurricane Laser Engraver. I did wanna mention quickly that this is on pre-order right now for a $99 deposit, and you get $1,000 off with that. On top of that, you also get the ability to have a free accessory kit. You get uh, free software, including Lightburn. They are including Lightburn with this pre-order, uh, which is not included with most laser engravers, as that is kind of an expensive upfront cost. 
And then you're also getting the honeycomb panel with this for free as well. So make sure you do a pre-order now before it goes up a thousand dollars and then it gets closer to that price range of the, the competitor as well. Uh, but overall, I would say this is a great unit to do. This is a great first look at it. I can't wait to make more videos for you guys in the future. Like I said in the previous segment, make sure you join those two Facebook groups. You'll see be seeing a lot of me there with new content on this, new beginner user guides, and I'll help you guys out along the way. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching.